All right, Kirby. So in this day and age, probably all days and ages, um, people have kids and they can't afford them. <laughs> they just pop kids out like nothing. Mm -hmm. So my question for you, and I know that you had two, you have two kids at two different times. One when you were um, financially not prepared and then one when you were financially prepared, correct? Mm -hmm. So my question is like, at what point did you decide with your second child, you know, now is a good time financially to have a kid? Like, did you already have assets? Did you already, were you already investing in real estate or was that even a plan to get financially prepared before having a child? First off, yeah, you I think you gave me a little bit too much credit. Um, when I had my first kid, I wasn't even financially, I, financially unprepared wasn't even a word. I, <laughs> I was a damn dummy. Call it what it is, man. But, um, and I could, I could say, honestly, when being a financial dummy, when I had my first kid, I spent more money on my first kid at this age than I spent on my kid now when I can afford to buy him anything. Crazy, right? <laughs> but yeah that's how that's how crazy it is but so for the first kid yeah i was a financial dummy uh you know i'm a jock playing uh college football decided to have a kid and um i wasn't prepared in no shape form i didn't even have a job i didn't even have you know a burger flipping joint i ain't had nothing only thing i had was the oh, college grant money that's the only money i had so it was like two thousand dollars <laughs> yes. all the money i had you know, because I was on I was on a full ride scholarship for football, but I still got the little fast food money uh, every every six months. But two thousand dollars wasn't going far, you know. But but yeah, so when it so after that going through that uh, situation, you know, having my kid young, dumb, it was on purpose, intentional that I would be financially free before I had another kid. Um, at the time, I had another kid. Well, me and my wife decided to have a kid. I had no debt, zero debt. Um, I had about net worth was sitting around a half a million dollars. And it was all stocks. It was no houses, no real estate, none of that stuff. It was all stocks and it was all the house the house that uh well, we didn't even have a house at the time, but this was about yeah, about five hundred, about five hundred, five fifty. That's when I decided, yeah, we're in a good enough place where we can buy a house because I still was in the Dave Ramsey uh, mindset. But we could buy a house cash and then we have money to take care of the kid. And then I already know my wife is very frugal, so we wasn't going to buy Louis Vuitton diaper bags and all that other crazy madness for the kid. So I was like, oh, we good to go now. But yeah, I, I did it on purpose. Yeah, like you were perf you were intentional on having your finances in order or in check, right? Before having that kid. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, 100%. Yeah, and it's it's just a question I had too because I've noticed and I don't have any kids people. And Kirby tells me not to have kids. But, but, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. But, you know, I've noticed like family, friends, when I would say I was just starting, like, you know, we we were OK, but it wasn't like anything where I felt like we're OK enough to, you know, support a kid plus grow ourselves at the same time. And people were just like, no, forget about it. You need to just have a kid like people throw throw away like the idea of becoming successful just to have a kid. And it's like those things, having a child is a responsibility. It's a liability. It is not in any way going to better you in your path to financial freedom at all. And most people think that, you know, having a kid is just something you've got to do as far as, you know, it's necessary beyond what else, whatever else you've got going on. And, you know, I'm just smirking because I just, you know, my mom, you know, everybody just telling me you got to have a kid. And it was like, I had in the back of my mind, you know, I've got to be financially prepared 
for this if we do take that path you know because we could go into it have a kid and then that could be it that could literally be the setback to growing further because like i said having a kid is a liability but most people throw that out the window yeah if you look if you look at a cash flow statement kids are 100 percent in the liability they take take <laughs> take take they're gonna be taken until the day you die trust me they're gonna take till the day you die you know i I always tell you, you don't have kids. I mean, I say it in joking, but I'm all serious. Um, yeah, they they will they'll do a whopper on that bank account, man. I'm trying to tell you, they will they will come get you. Um, kids are only good; they're only cool for like the first two years, and then it's all downhill from there. You know, I still tell my son. I look at old pictures of my son, and now he knows. I always told him. I said, "This one, you was cool when you was younger. You always cool when you were younger. You know, when you couldn't talk." You know, the only thing you wanted was, you know, some baby food, <laughs> some milk. That's <laughs> now, now his hands out so much, his hands look like cups. He begs so much. That's the damn shame, man. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but people, they, they, they don't do it. And then it's always the people that don't have the responsibility telling you, oh yeah, go have kids. Those same people that's telling you have kids, they don't bear the responsibility. Like your mom, she probably will spoil your kid to death, but but then what? Now you get now you got a spoiled kid that's gonna really want everything you got, and if you don't have the assets to do it, or if you don't have the money, the financial capability to do it, why do it? Now I'm not saying don't have kids and go go party till you're 50. I'm not saying that. If you decide, hey, I, I don't want to have kids till I'm financially free, then go get financially free. You know, because I mean, I'm not speaking to you, Alex. Because I mean, you'd have heard the story from me many a times. Talking to people that's out there. If the goal is to, hey, I want to be in a better financial situation, then go get in a, financial, a better financial situation. I know people that say, oh, yeah, I don't want to have no kids, so I'm in a better financial situation. But then you look at the Instagrams, TikToks, and YouTubes, and Facebook channels. They at every club, bar, uh, party, and bar spending all the money, not getting financially free either. So make that make sense. These kids that's, you know, 19, 20, you know, at 19, 20, having a kid, and I had one at 19, it's a crazy decision because I look at it like this. You're not established in a career yet. So whatever job you have, and I know it's going to be, you know, the HIPAA law people out there, the work compensation people out there, whatever job you have when you're 19, it's not paying you enough money to take care of yourself, let alone take care of another person. Then you add in the fact you haven't had longevity at that job. So now you're going with the new, you know, laws out there when you have a kid, you can be gone for 12 weeks. Yeah, they're supposed to pay you. But yeah, so how how you going, what are you doing? I mean, my advice and Alex, you know, I always say it is you shouldn't have a kid at the bare minimum until you have established career. Established career. Not, not at McDonald's and nothing wrong with working at McDonald's, but not Working at McDonald's on a on a on a fry machine, not you know, not a paper route, you know, not you know, a summer job, none of that stuff. When you have a career where you have benefits, like you know, health benefits, you know, you have a kid, you're gonna have to go to the doctor, you got health benefits, you got, you know, you're getting a salary, you you know, you investing in 401k, you know, different things like that to set yourself up. So when time when things come up, because when you have kids, things come up, you're able to do it instead of calling out to family, hey, can you help me? And giving out sob stories just to help you take care of a kid. And then the one that pees me off the most is people that go make a kid and oh, I gotta move back with my family so they can help me with the kid. They didn't help you make it. So why are you moving back with them? You chose to do adult things, so now do adult things. So that's my view on kids, money, finance, and don't have them because they will take every dime you got. Let me say, guys, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, leave us a comment. We'll see you guys in the next one.